Canada's broadcast regulator clashed with a new media giant today, and the outcome could have an impact on what you watch. Netflix is believed to have millions of Canadian subscribers, but doesn't have to play by the same rules as Canadian broadcasters. The CRTC tried to flex a muscle, but Netflix showed no sign of backing down. Deanna Sumanak Johnson has the details. Don't surprise me. It's not House of Cards, but for a CRTC hearing, it was Mission pretty dramatic, especially when Netflix was asked for its subscriber numbers. Mr. Chairman, can the panel guarantee confidential treatment of that information? You are not entitled to a special treatment. We are treating you like every other applicant, intervener, person who appears before the commission. The debate is over whether the online provider of TV shows and movies should be bound by the laws regulating broadcasters in this country, including the biggest of them all, Canadian content. Part of the CRTC's challenge is that operators like YouTube and Netflix operate largely outside the system. They've been granted an exemption uh, from conventional broadcast regulation. Some estimates suggest at least 4 million Canadians subscribe to Netflix. If CRTC decides it is a broadcaster, it could impose control over what you see on Netflix. That could mean more Canadian shows, fewer American shows like Orange is the New Black and House of Cards. Maureen Parker of the Canadian Writers Guild thinks that would be fair. They're not a special case. They're working in Canada. They're competing against our broadcasters. And they should be playing by some of the same rules. But out on the streets, reactions of TV lovers are more diverse. They have a, a Canadian market, so put, give that option to those that do want to watch Canadian shows. I wouldn't really want to restrict them to, to do something just, for, just because they're in Canada. The CRTC gave Netflix until Monday to submit the information on how many subscribers it has and just how much Canadian content it already offers. Just what the repercussions would be for Netflix if it doesn't comply isn't clear, all part of the challenge of trying to regulate broadcasters in the era of rapidly changing technology. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto. Netflix has big revenues coming from Canada, but the company is spending here too. According to recent estimates, Netflix will take in more than 300 million in revenue from Canadian customers in 2014. But the company will spend about $150 million on content for the Canadian market. 